Aerodynamic is still the most important area of a car. That means uh, the biggest steps in car performance, which we still achieve uh, by improving the aerodynamics. Therefore, a wind tunnel is the most important tool for a Formula One team. And this is valid for the development of a new car over winter time, but also for the continuous development during the season. CFD is quite important for Formula One because uh, you can start developments in a very early stage. That means you don't need a model, you don't need hardware. You just do it all on a computer, on simulations. And in our case, uh, with Albert II, in cooperation with Intel, we have a very powerful tool available. For the development of a Formula One car, CFD and the wind tunnel, they can work hand in hand. With CFD, you can analyze and optimize different areas quite well. With wind tunnel, the strong side is really here the development of the complete car. To give you an example, for brake cooling, uh, with CFD you can simulate, simulate a brake disc, which is 1000 degrees hot, and you can also simulate the cooling around the brake disc. Uh, for the wind tunnel model, it is impossible to simulate the brake cooling properly as you cannot run with hot brake discs. The downforce is mainly generated uh, by the front wing, by the rear wing and also by the floor. Uh, the, the downforce is very important for a Formula 1 car because the mass of a car is always the same, it's about 600 kg and with the additional downforce, I mean, we push the car down onto the, onto the track and uh, with this extra force we can achieve higher lateral acceleration and uh, on a Formula 1 car lateral acceleration is about four times higher than it is on a normal customer car or ve normal vehicle.